Oh, Usme Luli, two years ago, two years after Rome. Uh, do you think that the, the man who meet in Shanghai will be the Chinese? Yeah, I think the Chinese will be very tough to beat at home. Uh, definitely, they have the best times in the world in the world rankings this year, so they definitely have a big target on their backs. So, and uh, which kind of Meluli we need to beat the Chinese? I think uh, I'll have to be ready the day of the of the race. I think the 400 is going to be a very strategic race. Uh, he's a young swimmer, so I'm sure a lot of pressure is going to be on his shoulders, and uh, experience will come into play. I think uh, I'll have to to be. 100% ready, which I hope I will. It's changing your life after the revolution in Tunisia, I mean, after, and what do you think about this uh, new spring the Arab season? Well, I think the revolution, I mean, this year has been a roller coaster of emotions for me. I think uh, everything that happened at home in January obviously had a big effect on myself, my family, my whole country. So trying to deal with that and stay focused was uh, a bit of a challenge this year. I think not a lot of people realize it, but um, I am kind of the... the flag barrier for the whole country's um, sports nation pretty much so uh, it puts a lot of pressure and it definitely was uh, a little bit of a distraction for me to deal with it and uh, some emotional stress that came with it but I think um, you know I'm very proud to represent this country and hopefully you know represent it well and give a good image of the Tunisian people and the world uh, in general now the spring season being the Arab season, I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing with what's going on in Libya and Syria, but hopefully this crisis, hopefully um, all those people that died for in the name of democracy will have their freedom and will be able to get their democracy and will be able to set up a new government so they can live healthy and happy lives just like we see here in France or Italy or Germany and have like some sort of political stability. That's what I wish for all those countries. So, uh, you won a lot of medals and uh, I mean one of the things that uh, you have, I mean, you remain is uh, still the record to Grand Packet. What do you think you need to do this? You know, I think I've, I've been on the... I've been, like you said, I've been pretty consistent with uh, podiums and medals and world championships and topped it with being in Grant at, uh, at the last Olympic Games. I think there are certain things in my preparation that I need to, to work on and certain things with my cons consistency and, and um, in my training that sometimes I kind of fail to establish. I realize what I have to do to have an extremely successful Olympic year and uh, stay focused. I think um, I got the people to race that are going to be really close to the world record and if I can beat those people then I'll have the world record. Last question. Uh, relationship with Italy and uh, you Maybe think to prepare Olympic Games in Italy. Is that an option? Absolutely. I mean, I was uh, I was in Italy like three weeks ago, and I was in Agnese. As everybody knows, in Italy, I have developed a pretty close relationship with Agnese, Gianni Nanni, Mr. Malago, and the swimmers over there. So uh, I love the new facility at Agnese. The 50-meter pool outdoors is a great place to be. There's uh, great atmosphere I love the, I love the food and I feel like I'm close to home and my sponsor which is arena is Italian so I know if I go there I'll be well taken care of and in a good environment to be successful especially in such such an important time probably be like three weeks before London or two weeks before the Olympic Games so like I said I, mean, I did I said in an interview in Italy recently that I will be there and um, I'm still thinking about it nothing is final but I think it will be a great place to be